Javier Rivas. I'm here with Rock and Ryan, and we are from Music Junkie Press to interview Candlelight Red. Can you guys introduce yourselves? Yeah, I'm Ryan. I sing. I'm Jeremy. I play guitar. Cool. How did you guys meet, and how did how did the band form? You know, like how did it start? Well, um, basically, uh, I mean, we we knew each other before. Um, we were in lo other local bands, and we played on some of the same shows and stuff. And, uh, Start piecing together a new project, and uh, he, he was the first person to come forward and, and just you know, be able to write lyrics and, and melodies and, and start writing some songs together, and, and it just kind of all started falling into place from there. Cool. Um. first started getting into music and like when you how old were you guys when you started playing your first instrument instruments? Uh, I was a little later. I started guitar when I was like fifteen. And uh, got a job playing the bass in a band and then ended up singing. I've sang my whole life but I didn't really have a, didn't know I didn't know it was my calling, if you will. So I, was, I think I got my first guitar while I was in nine. And my sister was taking guitar lessons, so I wanted to take it too. So I always had the way into music, and you know, once 12, early teens, I started really getting into it. And in high school, I started, you know, trying to get into bands and stuff, and yeah. playing parties. And actually, I think I played at my first bar when I was like 16, and you probably didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was playing bars when I was 15, 16. Nice. A lot of places didn't want to let me in. It was, it was young. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys remember what was your first concert? Yeah, I think so. Um, mine was actually, I saw one of the incarnations of uh, Black Sabbath with Dio. Um, that was one of the first yeah, concerts. Was, that was a yeah, slip concert or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very cool. Really so well, it was like Slayer, <laughs> Slayer, Sepultura. You see, like, Tuck of the Earth or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, my first one, actually. My first big concert. What was the, um, what was the craziest thing that's happened on tour so far? I can't tell you. No? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> if I tell you, I have to get you. It's just, there's a, it's never-ending yeah. stuff you see on the road, you know, day-to-day, -day, especially with eight guys living together, you know, it's like a, it's like a rolling fraternity down there. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a lot of pranks, it's a lot of stupid stuff that we do. <laughs> Every yeah, city's different. Us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. There's too many to name, I guess. All right. Can you guys tell us who writes the music and, and especially about the song Demons and how that came out? Uh, well, you can. I guess you can talk about the music. Portion. Well, yeah. I mean, I think the music started out. I mean, it was almost like in the very beginning it was almost like all me because we were just trying to demo stuff and get stuff done. You know. And he'd come in and write the lyrics and the melodies and vocals over it. And now it's more of like a just amalgamation where just everybody just throws in. You know? Everybody does like sometimes he'll pick up a guitar and, and throw some stuff out. And then, you know, so we all kind of do that. But still, mainly uh, he does most of the lyrics and, and vocal writing. Danny um, wrote a song, though, lyrically, and you know, the new record is coming out. Yeah, but he, he, we'd rather like, let him do most of the lyrics because it's almost like he has like a a certain way of the theme, you know, if you listen to our stuff, the, the, the lyrics have a certain feel to them, I guess you can say. Yes. When you were 14, what advice would you give your guys now? Like, what advice would you guys give yourself? Um, that's a hard 
that question. I don't know. I think I would tell myself it's very difficult to make money playing music. So. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, start saving. I was like, "Hey, start listen. saving your money now." <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. <laughs> so, what advice, like me and him, and in a band and stuff? What advice would you guys give to teens like us and how to start a band Just and how to get out there? Yeah. Go to medical school. school. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, Just uh, you gotta play, man. Keep playing. Oh, you know, anything to make your band tighter. Jeremy's always stressing to play to a click. It's probably a good way to play in front, of, in front of people as much as you can. Record yourself as much as you can. So videotape you can yourself. Off, videotape, yeah. yeah you want to an obvious feel of what's of, going on. And, uh, you can say, well, that move I just did there is kind of stupid looking. Maybe yeah. I should never do that. You know, just, <laughs> do that all the time. Do that all the time. Just be persistent and, and keep keep working. The people who are still making out here have been doing it a long time. It's, it's one of those things. It's, even though Candlelight like Red's only been around for three or four years, I and mean, we may have been in different bands, it's, you know, I've toured around the country before, you know, we even started this band, so it's just one of those things, it's like, I mean, you do have, have occasionally, you, you hear about somebody like a, a Candlebox success story where the band gets, only plays out live three times and, and happens to get lucky and get signed, this is so rare, you know, most people... ...building contacts, you know, just, yeah. So if we could peek into your guys' iPod or playlist, what artist or song would you be most surprised about finding? In mine? Or we? In my iPod would probably be uh, E.T., Katy Perry. <laughs> <laughs> probably the weirdest thing that's in mine. Probably the weirdest thing you find in mine would probably be like I have like all four of you on albums. That is weird. Well, when she was younger, I had a little. When she was younger, I had a little fixation on her, but now it's just. Uh, but it's still, it's a very sexy voice. So. so it does if you're like trying to fall asleep, you don't. You can listen to metal all day, you know, unless you're like, like yeah. listen to like freaking Slayer. <laughs> you're trying to chill out. You know? And of course, this is my kind of my favorite question. If Candlelight Red was a new ice cream flavor, what would it be and why? Yeah. It probably have to be one of those like that has all the different stuff mixed in together. Yeah. Some sort of a new spin on like a boost track or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like they threw in everything. Yeah. What with the eighties making a comeback, if you could pick up a song from the eighties or nineties to describe your life or be anthem so an anthem song, what would it be? Yours would probably be girls, girls, girls. Girls, girls, girls. Molly Crew, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Kickstart my heart, Molly Crew. Yeah. Uh, pretty much any Molly Crew song. Yeah. <laughs> might, might be living on a prayer. There you go. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's day to day. <laughs> and also, do you have any else, anything else you would like our audience to hear about Candlelight Red and what the, what we can expect in 2013? You got a new record? You got a new record coming out? New singles? Lots of more touring? Yeah, just go to our, our Facebook, our YouTube, everything slash Candlelight Red. It's easy to find. Uh, just Google, 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 Google Candlelight Red. Yeah, we have a YouTube channel. We always post some like crazy stuff, antics on the road. And, uh, cool. and just you can check out our social for updates. We'll have new music out soon. And uh, hope you guys dig it. Yeah. All right, well, thank you guys very much for talking and taking the time with us at Music Junkie Press. We'll Thanks. spread a word about you guys' music and stuff and, you know. Awesome. Thank awesome. you guys for having us. us. Jeremy.
More from the band Candlelight Red. If you're addicted to music, get your fix at Music Junkie Press.